So apparently it's been uh, record uh, highs this month. We've broken four, uh, four highs, four record highs. Uh, I think earlier this year we broke several lows as well. So the weather's kind of, kind of strange. But the great thing is that it's beautiful out here. This is one of the good things about living in Hawaii is you get this kind of weather which which makes it very good for us bikers sort of I mean it's pretty hot it's nice to have air condition it's pretty hot to be riding but uh, you know having the clear skies and uh, no rain and all that uh, the winds are, are pretty nice not not too high um, this is great. This is great weather. The nice thing about the weather here too is it's been, uh, now that it's summertime, the sun comes up pretty early and it sets pretty late. I think it comes up, I don't know, around 6 or just after 6 in the morning and then uh, when it when it goes down, it's about 7:15, 7:30. So, I mean, the days are nice and long here, uh, which also makes it good for riding, uh, especially if uh, you're commuting to and from work. So right now it's about 7:45. I'm heading into work, and I mean it's super sunny. There's hardly any clouds in the sky. Uh, which keeps the humidity down, which is kind of nice. I mean, that's the only, the only bad thing about it being really hot with no wind is when the humidity is up, man, it's, it's, it's almost unbearable. So this is not bad. There's definitely a lot of places uh, I would rather not be than Hawaii. Alright, speak, speaking of the weather, uh, that's something that we can't really change. That's something up to nature to decide. And, and nature is pretty efficient. Um, it's efficient by necessity uh, to keep things going. It kind of find, you find the easiest route. Uh, and it's constantly changing and and doing its thing but but humans are a little bit different there's all kinds of different agendas reasons why people do things not necessarily because they have to but because they want to so you look at our uh, traffic situation our transportation system it's pretty terrible I mean you know I drive to work every I ride to work every day and you can you can see the roads that I'm riding on it's terrible And we have a lot of vehicles for the amount of space because we have a lot of people. I think we're over a million people just on Oahu alone. Um, and so we have a lot of vehicles, a lot of cars and stuff. Um, and our roads are just horrendous. I mean, just terrible. Uh, 
I guess it's not so bad, although I, I have heard complaints from people who drive cars. I mean, I drive a car. Well, I have an SUV, so we probably don't feel it as much. But if you have a smaller car or if you're riding a bike, the roads are just, I mean, you can feel every little pothole in the roads. And so, you know, I can understand on a regular street and stuff. What's this guy doing? But on the freeway, I mean, look at this seam right here. I don't know why they have this seam right there going through the middle of the lane. But for motorcycles, that's terrible. And then you got these little bumps little humps in the road boom right there I, I mean my ass comes off the seat every time I hit it it's like the ground's not level uh, thanks thank goodness I can catch the zipper lane in the morning but if I weren't driving in the zipper lane you'd see this patch on the freeway that is just I mean, I have, I have, I basically have to stand on my foot pegs when I go over it because you know the speed limit is like 55, and going over these like it looked like they did some patchwork, but they did some really crappy job patching up the holes, so it's all uneven and bumpy, the asphalt. Sucks. And uh, man, going over those at 55, 60 miles an hour is kind of dangerous. And it's very uncomfortable. And then you got these turns here, and see this little, I, I have to avoid this little patch right here. And right here, as I get onto the zipper lane, it's terrible. <laughs> 